Cadets from across Scotland attended the 51 Brigade and ACFA Scotland First Aid Competition held in Broxburn on Saturday, June the 3rd. The event saw young people from both the Army and Combined Cadet Forces compete in various team and individual first aid scenarios. We caught up with Sergeant Major Instructor Stuart McBean, who is the First Aid Training Officer for Lothian and Borders, and also the National First Aid Advisor for 51 Brigade. We've been here today where the 8 Battalions of Scotland come together uh, to form the Scottish Championship for First Aid and the winners of this event will go down to Yardley in October to represent in the National UK First Aid, First Aid Championships. The standard of obviously the First Aid that we've had today has been extremely high and the competition has been very very close. At one point we had two from 2nd Battalion of the Highlanders who had 44 points each out of 45, tied first place for best individual. What we look at is when they come in, they start off on their hard start, and then they progress through one star, and then they go to the second star, which is the two-star first aid, which is key stage two in the curriculum based in any school environment. And then what we're looking for is three-star, and then we're looking at activity first aid, and then we're also looking at first aid at work, which means a first aid at work is what your normal employer would be looking for. Some of the scenarios that the cadets were faced with included those that they may find at home, but also while they're out in the street with their friends. Incidents ranging from falling from heights to electric shock and injuring yourself on various utensils were also complemented by incidents including a road traffic collision, which happened as the result of a heart attack. The Army Cadet Force Association supports all first aid training in the Army Cadet Force. It also provides external accreditation through relevant awarding bodies for both cadets and Cadet Force adult volunteers and provides externally accredited teaching courses and qualifications for first aid trainers. Approximately 18,000 cadets receive first aid training at a one-star level every year. This is within the first year of being a member of the organisation. All cadets receive training in first aid as it is a core subject within the Army Proficiency Certificate syllabus. In basic cadet training, this amounts to safety awareness and ensuring that every cadet knows how to contact the emergency services. As the cadet progresses through the syllabus, they will be expected to gain the skills necessary for an externally recognised youth first aid qualification. Many cadets have used their first aid skills to save lives in real situations. Every year, there are a series of national competitions for the best army cadets to go up against teams from other cadet forces, as well as schools, scouts and the St John Ambulance Organisation. It matters a great deal. The amount of awards that we, we put out in the ACF because of first aid are gradually increasing and increasing over the years because the skills you learn at this level are well and truly worthwhile for the rest of your life, all right? and they do save lives as you're taught. You know? So get out there and spread the word on first aid. It's a fantastic bit of kit to, to get under your belt. All right, the badge looks smart as well, but that's not what you're doing it for. You're doing it so that a bit later on, you can hopefully help somebody out that's needing help. All right. But what we can be looking at throughout the year is first aid praiseworthy awards. At present, we have two from Lothian and Borders that we're looking into at the moment. And there's one from Second Highlanders also, which means that these cadets could be put forward for a national commendation. The national winning teams that get to actually wear the gold badge. And Dollar have done that last year. They're going to be representing us as the youth and young adult first aid winners of Scotland and overall winners for Scotland. We're also looking at Second Highlanders being possibility maybe winning looking at the standard of today they could go up against quite a few decent teams down in in Yardley and obviously I'd be very very happy and very very pleased if Scotland did win it again. Now if you're 12 years old and in first year of high school you can join the Army Cadets today. Head online to armycadets.com, complete our simple online form and we'll email you details of your local ACF headquarters. You can then either give them a ring or pop in one night and visit them on a training evening to find out more.
Now, if you're over 18, that doesn't mean that you miss out on all the fun. You can still join as an adult volunteer and enjoy all the activities while also picking up exactly the kind of teamwork and leadership skills transferable to your employer and your university. To find out more, armycadets.com.